Now, when you think of Mike Pence, you don't necessarily think of the term power moves. I've commented before that a lot of times in meetings, he actually looks like a gentleman who is 50% into rigor mortis because he is so unanimated and oftentimes passive next to Donald Trump. But in this video, we're going to see a clip where Prince Charles snubs him. He's going down the line, shaking hands, and he looks him in the eye and ignores him. So we're going to watch this clip, but then I'm going to go back and show you what I think could have been improved and what I think he did well in handling the situation. And it may surprise you, but I think he does mostly well. This is a tough situation. Have you ever been in a group of people where someone completely snubs you? And in addition to that, it's on national cameras at a huge event. So let's watch this clip, then I'll jump back on and we'll break it down. All right, here's what really happened. He's going down the line. Look at him right now. You can see right here, his hand isn't out, and look at that look on his face. It cracks me up. Somebody reminds me of Pinocchio. I don't know why. But um, he doesn't put his hand out right away. So clearly, he's – I don't know what the background is between these guys, but clearly he's expecting there's a good chance that Prince Charles won't shake his hand, and he doesn't put his out either. So it's kind of like when I was watching this in the news, everyone made it seem like Prince Charles completely snubbed him. But Pence isn't hanging out there with his hand waiting for a response. It's kind of like a duel. Who will pull, pull first and no one does? So you see right here, he never even uncrossed – his hands. So I'm not even so sure whose idea it was not to shake. What if Pence would have put his hand out to shake? Would have Prince Charles shaken his hand? I don't know. I got to think there's a decent chance he would have. But once again, I don't really know the backstory about him. But here's what I like. Pence is known to be a more passive guy. But what he does here, just to show a little authority, watch him right now. Right there. Pat on the back. Anytime you're patting someone, it shows physical authority over them. Think of a boss or someone higher status, a father going up to a son, patting him on the back. That's a sign of higher status for a lot of reasons, but one is just showing that you're comfortable putting your hands on somebody else, right? It's a sign. I'm not scared of you. I'm going to pat you, especially after a strange stalemate handshake like that where neither one of them shook hands. So he's kind of like almost in a condescending pat. That really surprised me. I did not expect to see that out of Pence. So when we're looking at what really happened here, after seeing that, what do you think? What comes in your mind? I really don't know. I just know the two of them probably don't like each other and neither one of them wanted to be the first one to put their hand out when the other one didn't put the hand out. Who knows if either one of them had intentions to not shake the other one's hand and make a scene. This is a global platform. Or if they both would have shaken hands, I don't know. But I don't think this is necessarily any more of a snub from Prince Charles than it is from Pence. And I think that Pence's reaction is really as good as it gets. What's the worst thing Pence could have done, or Prince Charles could have done, now that we're looking at it this other perspective, get emotionally reactive, act like they're, some, oh, so rude, like make a face or something like that. Just like Pence and just like Prince Charles did, very cool. No emotional reaction, not a big deal. Anytime someone shows an emotional reaction to someone else, it shows that they feel like they have higher status than them. It lowers your status when you show especially negative emotional reactions. So remember that if you're ever in a situation like this, Handle it like Pence. Don't show an emotional reaction. If you want to be, you know, if you feel real confident, you can go ahead and pat him on the back. It's, it's almost a bit of a condescending move and go along just like nothing else happened. Now, if when you go out in social situations in general, if you don't necessarily feel very comfortable, you don't know how to go up and start a conversation and keep it going, I've got another YouTube video you can touch or click right here and I'll teach you how you can feel confident when you're out and how to start and keep an interesting conversation going. You can touch or click right here and I'll talk to you there now.